we are going to configure this DVR or NVR with um, onto the local area network, which is the first step in networking a DVR or NVR. So first you would go to the menu, and then in the menu you go to configuration, and then network. Once you get there, you go to the general tab, and you see that says enable DHCP. So what you want to do is you want to check mark enable DHCP. You want to apply that. And by doing that, it should grab an IP address off your network, of course, if it's networked properly and it's plugged into your router. So, to just to make sure it grabbed an IP address off your network, you would go into here, go to maintenance, and you would go to network, and you would see that it grabbed the IPv4 address of 10.0.0.177, the subnet mask and the gateway, which is correct, because that is our, the correct gateway for this for this uh, network. So, we want to then write this down, write this information down on a piece of paper, then go back into your configuration, into your network, and then go to general tab again. It's not, it didn't implement it in there, so what we're going to do is we're going to implement it, we're going to uncheck the DHCP, which gives you the permission to change this IP address and the subnet mask and the gateway. So, Go back in here and we're going to input that in. So we're going to go 10 dot zero dot zero dot 177. Enter that. Subnet mask is already there. That's correct. And the gateway is going to be 10 dot zero dot zero dot one. And then enter that. And just uh, FYI, the gateway is also um, your IP address to get into your router when it comes time to doing the port forwarding uh, for this for this unit. Also, you want to make sure if it didn't it didn't input a preferred DNS for you. Um, sometimes it'll give you just the uh, default gateway and put that in the preferred DNS. But I use the Google DNS, which is eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. And I use the prefer I use the, the alternate DNS, uh, which you don't need to, but I do. It's eight dot eight dot four four dot four. Enter. Then after you're done with that, you apply it. Once that uh, once that's applied, you are done with your local area network. You can then come go back here. Of course, just check, make sure that's the same. Make sure that's the same numbers as over there, and then it's also entered the preferred for you here in the, in the alternate DNS. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our PC, and we're going to check to make sure that it's connected, that we have it on the local area network. Okay, the first way you're going to check is through the command prompt. You're going to go to your command prompt. Uh, in the command prompt, you're going to ping the IP address. You're going to type in ping space and then the IP address which is 10.0.0.117 and just press enter and if it replies four times then you know it's connected properly. The second way to check would be going to your Internet Explorer. So you go to Internet Explorer and in the URL you're going to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the local IP address which is 10.0.0.177 and then you'll hit enter. If it's networked properly you'll get a prompt for a username and password. Thank you for watching our series of YouTube training videos.